Okay, the last hypothesis to test is this multigroup hypothesis, saying that uh, the positive effect of enjoyment on information acquisition will be stronger for males than for females. To test this, let's go back to Amos. Let's save this interaction model and modify it for the next. I'm actually going to delete all this other stuff we just added. Experience, interaction, interaction. There we go. And we're back to this model. And I'm going to file save as path multigroup. And this will be different from the way I've done it in the past, so do pay attention. We're going to double click this part, the group number, this is the same as before, male, new, female, close. We have two groups now. Let's bring in the data for those two groups. It's the same one. And for male, the grouping value, gender, is one. For female, grouping variable, gender, is two. We've done this before, so I'm going quickly. Okay, we now have two models. Let me save this. What we're going to do, again, this is slightly different from what we've done in the past, um, is we're going to learn how to use this multi-group analysis feature. So you're going to click on multi-group analysis. It's going to warn you, say OK. And you're just going to hit OK again. It puts in default uh, parameters for you. It makes a big mess. And what we have now is several models. You'll see over here, we have the unconstrained model, the structural weights, structural covariances, and structural residuals. If you double click on structural covariances, you can see all the parameter constraints it automatically entered for you. We can delete this model, the structural covariances model. We can also click on residual weights, or structural residuals, and delete this model. We really just need the structural weights and unconstrained. So close, and oh, I, should, I should explain it. Double click on that again. What this says is treat B1 underscore one as the same as B1 underscore two. And so for males, you'll see it B1 underscore one, it'll change to B1 underscore two for females. So it says treat this path for males and for females as if it were equal. And if we run this, then we have a new section in our output. If you go to maximize, ooh, maximize this, and if you go to estimates, nope, sorry, model comparison, then this is exactly, it is a chi-square difference test. And it will tell you if the two models are different based on the groups. This is just a chi-square difference test. In fact, if I were to put these values over in um, the stats tools package in the chi-square difference test area. And I just changed this to, uh, let's see, C min is 10.859, 10.859, and this is 13. You'll see it comes up with 0 0.623, 0 0.623 as the p-value, they are identical. Um, so it's just a chi-square test, and it says that the model is no different between groups. So, what does that mean for our hypothesis? Our hypothesis was that this particular effect, enjoyment on information acquisition, is stronger for males than for females. So here's enjoyment to information acquisition, but we didn't test that. We tested the whole model. So let's test just a single path. The way to do this is to double click on the structural weights, and then let's get that one. It's B9. So here's B9. I'm going to move this. Control X. Go down to the bottom, control V, and I'm going to grab all the rest of this. And it's important that you do control X, uh, not delete. Do control X, because we might want to put it back later if we want to test other paths. So the only one we're constraining is B9. Everything else is estimated freely. Hit close, hit run, and look at the output, and look at model comparison, and it says, nope, even if this path is forced to be equal, that is no different than when it's estimated freely. Um, these paths are no different, or this path is no different for males than females. If I want to do that for another path, just go back here. Let me paste all this back in, control V. I'll stick B9 back. And then let's say I wanted to change, uh, I want to test B13. Well, I just 
get rid of the rest of this, control X, close, run. And look at the output, model comparison, and hey, pretty close, but no cigar. Um, and it says, so for that path, no different. And that's how you do it, just one path at a time. Make sure you're using control X so you can put things back. Okay, that is how you would test a multi-group effect using a chi-square difference test. If the effect were significant, i.e. the p-value were uh, less than 0.05 or maybe less than 0.1 if you're interested in 90% confidence level, then you would report that you did a chi-square difference test um, where you freely estimated the two models except constraining the one path to be equal across groups and you found that the chi-square difference test was significant, indicating that the effect was stronger, or the effect was different for males than for females. To know whether it was stronger, we'd actually have to uh, run this and look at the up arrow, make sure you're unstandardized. And here we are on female, it's 11. For male, it's 14. And so if the p-value were significant, we could say, yes, it is stronger for males than for females.